Welcome to the Creating Discussion Topics demo. In this demo, you will learn how to create discussion topics inside of your discussion forums. By the end of this demo, your discussion area will be ready for students to start completing assignments. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. On the gray course navigation bar, click on the Discussions link. Notice the tabs at the top, Discussions list, Subscriptions, Group and Section Restrictions, and Statistics. Discussions are organized into categories called Forums. Topics are created under Forums and Messages are placed into Topics. Forums can have several topics and Topics can have many messages. You must have created a Forum before you can create a Topic. If you need help creating a Forum please watch the Creating Discussion Forums demo first. Click the New button and select the New Topic option. Note there are four tabs across the page Properties, Restrictions, Assessment, and Objectives. Under the Properties tab in the Form drop-down menu select the form for your topic. Example Chapter 1 Discussions. In the title field, type in the name of your topic. Example, Chapter 1 Discussion Board Assignment. In the description field, write the description for what the students will discuss in this topic. Example, post your solution to How to Decide by Tuesday. Post a response to another student by Thursday. In the Options section, you can change the options for individual topics. Allowing anonymous messages means that students can choose to leave messages anonymously. Even if this is unlocked later, the message will remain anonymous. Checking, a moderator must approve individual posts before they display in the topic means that the students will not see the messages they post until the instructor approves them. If you select this, you should tell the students on which day the messages will be approved. Approving or rejecting the message must be done manually. Checking users must start a thread before they can read and reply to other threads will require students to create an initial post before they will be able to read any other posts in the topic. In the Rate Posts section, you can allow students to rate each other's posts by selecting the drop-down menu and then selecting the voting style you want to use. You also have Visibility and Locking Options. Click on the Show Options links to set these options. A topic can be visible or hidden, and you can choose the dates. If a topic is locked, the student can read messages but cannot add a post. Click Save. Under the Restrictions tab, in the Release Conditions section, you may add special circumstances for when a student may view your topic. If you need help setting up release conditions, view the Creating Release Conditions demo. If you have created groups, you can make a topic visible to only certain groups that you have created in the Group and Section Restrictions area. Under the Assessment tab, you have the ability to choose an existing grade item or create a new grade item in your gradebook in which to post the grade for the graded discussion. If you choose a grade item, Put a top possible score in the score out of field. You can grade the discussion topic manually or you can grade the topic by using a rubric that you've created. See our video on how to create a rubric if necessary. To manually assess each message with a different score and allow D2L to automatically calculate the topic score, check the box next to Allow Assessment of Individual Posts. Then select 
a calculation method from the drop down menu below. Click Save and Close. You have now successfully created a topic.